Welcome to Inventory Counts 101. We're going to go through all the steps you need to take your first successful inventory count in Market Man. First, I'm going to click Inventory, Inventory Counts. And from here, you'll be able to see all of the counts you have in this system or add a new count by pressing the green Add Count button top right. Once I add my count, I can enter in a description. I can choose the date that I'm doing my count, and I can also select the time. Day start is going to be, if you do a count, before all of your purchases and before all of your sales for that day. Day end is going to be after all of your purchases and after all of your sales for that day. There's a few different ways that I can do an inventory count through Market Man. I can use the search bar to search for any items that I want to count. I can filter by my different storage areas, categories, or suppliers, or I can simply go down the list and add in how much I have of everything. I can use decimal points. if I want to count that I have half a case of something, for example, and I want to make sure that if I'm actually out of an item to type zero. If I don't write anything in for my Moscato wine here, that means I'm just skipping the item and I didn't count it today. I can continue to go down the list and add in how much I have of everything. I can see here that different items I can set up to be counted in different ways. If I want to edit this, all I have to do is simply click on the pencil next to the inventory item, and I can see everything about this item, how I purchase it, the category, the storage area, and the different ways for the item to be counted. I can make edits right from here, so I can say I only want to count by the pack of 750 milliliters and press save. And those changes will be immediately reflected right in this screen. This makes doing an inventory count much easier as you can edit the way your different items are counted right from this screen. A pro tip is that you can actually reorganize your storage areas to appear exactly like they do in real life. If I filter by one of my storage areas, what I can do is I can press the sort button and I can drag and drop my items so that they appear exactly in Market Man as they do in real life. This makes your inventory count much easier as you don't have to search or do any finding for your items. Everything will be in the exact same order as you see it. Once I've reorganized my storage area how I want it, I'll just go ahead and press save. The other thing we can do right from our inventory count screen is if we press actions, we have the ability to add new items or import new items directly from Excel. This is great if you forgot to add items from a supplier, if you've got a new item that you haven't added to Market Man yet, or you simply just have new items you want to add, you can do so all right from here. Once I'm done, I want to go ahead to make sure and press save. And that's all you need to know about doing an inventory count. Remember, you can do an inventory count through your phone, computer, or tablet, through either our browser or the app. If you have any questions, please feel free to visit our website at markcommand.com or email us at support at markcommand.com.